now and um, we're trying to do really low-cost stuff for them um, through this YouTube channel so we got this cat and uh, found out that Lady Bell is indeed a boy um, so uh, we need to figure out a new name for him because Lady Bell doesn't fit him very well but come here come here his back left foot is curled under he actually walks on the top of it he's a very friendly cat you kind of see how he walks on the top of his foot and it's all raw, scabs all on it because that's where he puts his weight. Come here, bud. But watch him walk. He just, he can't flip it up and use it. And we don't know what happened to him. He's been kind of bouncing around shelters for about three months and, uh, and no one really knows, you know, the history from before that. But today what we're going to try to do is, I think I'm going to try to amputate right here so he will still be able to walk on this. This is analogous to a human heel. A normal cat does not walk on that, but we're going to see if he can use that. And if not, we'll probably end up having to amputate the whole leg. But I'd like to try to salvage it first. So um, he's going to go through a little surgery today and see if we can fix him up. All right, here's a kitty. You can see where the kitty puts all of his weight. He walks right on the top of his foot. We have the, the nails in here wrapped up, so I'm not touching them. But he walks right on the top of his foot. And what I'm going to try to do, they have a, a pad right here where they're supposed to walk. Um, so I'm going to try to, I'm going to cut off the toes and see if I can move that pad to where it'll sit right there. And he can kind of use this as a peg leg. We just finished surgery on this guy. Um, here is the pad. Basically all we did, we just took off the toes at the digits. So, you know, this is a hand, this is a front leg obviously, but took him off right there. So he still has these bones. These in the foot are called metatarsal bones. We just took off the digits and this was the uh, metatarsal pad and I just pulled it up um, around here. So I'm hoping this is what he'll step on and uh, he hopefully can use this as a normal foot. I'm going to wrap this thing up and um, hopefully let it heal without any of these stitches coming out. And uh, we'll just see how he does when he wakes up and see how he walks on it. All right, it's been two weeks since surgery, and you can see it doesn't look um, like we'd love it to look, but half of it, this half over here on the inside, has healed down, um, so we're still waiting for this half to heal, but it's not going to heal very quickly like this. So I'm going to actually go in, debride a bunch of this tissue, and um, suture back together. So we got one half done, we'll see if we can get the other half to heal, and hopefully we can save this leg. And after surgery, we sutured up that side of it, and uh, the problem with um, these kind of things is you worry about too much tension being on there and ripping through the skin, busting those sutures. So I put a bunch of sutures in there and I did several tension relieving sutures. So we'll see if we can get this side to stick down. It's been several weeks since last surgery and this thing is healed up to just a small little wound right here. And basically what I'm doing now is kind of debriding because it's just kind of an open hole. I'm debriding it and then I'm going to put some sutures in it and try this again. This will be the third time that we've stitched up Stitch's foot, we're calling him Stitch, and uh, hopefully this time it will go ahead and close all the way. Here it is afterwards, got the sutures right there, this is the pad of his foot where he'll be putting pressure, and he kind of puts pressure on the side of it too, and that's why this wasn't healing up up there. So we really would like to save this foot, but he's just been here so long and we don't want to have to keep putting him through these surgeries. Alright, we've had Stitch for a few months now, and I kind of hadn't been filming much because we've uh, just had him for so long and had a lot of trouble with uh, his foot getting to heal up. We've done probably five surgeries on his foot, which I'm not real proud to admit, but um, we've been, just been trying to get that to close down there because um, I really would like for him to keep his leg. And this was the, the last time we were going to do it. And I said, if this doesn't work this time, we're going to go ahead and just amputate his leg. But um, he's a, a cat that I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally do this on other cats, but he's just so good. He, uh, he really likes us and we really like having him here. So we've just been keeping him here and, and doing it basically all for free just because, just because we like him so much. Um, and I uh, really want him to keep that leg, but what we're doing is we're rewrapping his foot. Every day we're changing this bandage. I did a, a, a procedure where I put a bunch of sutures in there to really hold it all. I went in there and cleaned it all out and made fresh edges and sutured it up. And Now we're rewrapping his foot. I'm making a little kind of boxing glove pad full of Neosporin and I'm, I'm putting that on there. Got his cat hair all in here. 
putting that on there every day um, to make sure it doesn't get infected. We've tried doing this before where we didn't have the big pad and he just walks right on that incision so it keeps opening it up. We tried leaving it open so that it can dry and not get infected because we had trouble with infections before. Um, but I think this is actually going to work this time. So I'm going to go ahead and take his bandage off. We're doing his bandage change today. And uh, he doesn't really like us messing with his foot because he's been doing this. This has probably been almost two weeks since surgery, but we're just not taking any chances. So we're still, still just going to keep doing this until those stitches fall out, basically. But his name Stitch really fits. But here's, um, it, it all looks like it's pretty close. There's a little bit of scabs on here, but these stitches are getting ready to just fall out. Um, it looks like we finally have uh, made some headway on this thing. So I'm just going to put his new bandage on there and keep doing this for a few more days and then we'll pull those stitches out and I think we finally fixed his foot. Here's Stitch and I have good news. He got his bandage off today and uh, I think we're going to leave it off. It all looks really nice and healed up. I'm going to go ahead and let him out, let him walk around for the first time ever. And here's a cute little guy. This is Mikey. Mikey is a vet ranch cat also. Little kitten and he has a broken pelvis and we're just cage resting him, letting him heal. So that video will be coming in the future. But let's go play with Stitch. So what Stitch does now that he used to not do is he actually lifts that foot off the ground whenever he walks. He doesn't scoot it on the ground like he used to. He used to just drag those knuckles across. Now he picks up that peg and places it down like that. So it's not going to wear a hole in his foot like it was before. Our plan is to just let him walk a little bit more each day so he'll kind of build a callus there um, because this foot has been bandaged for three weeks. I change that bandage personally every day for three weeks just to make sure we could heal up that incision finally because it's been so long. Um, so we're just going to kind of let him go slowly on it and hopefully build up a callus to where he has a really nice paw pad at the end of that foot and walks around like a normal cat. That would be ideal. All right. Here's the, bottom. <laughs> Here's the bottom of his foot. There is one little red mark where he licked it, um, kind of chewed on it today. He pulled the last little scab off, but it's really superficial. It doesn't go all the way through the skin like those wounds were doing before, so it, it'll heal up really quickly. Um, but yeah, he's doing great. He's trying to escape, and he did. Now, like I said before, we did donate a lot of our time and services for Stitch just because he's such a good cat, but we did use um, a good amount of donated funds too. I mean, we did several surgeries on this cat and we've boarded him here at the clinic for like three months now. So, you know, if this was just some random cat, we wouldn't have been able to do that. So basically what we'd have done if we wanted to help him, we would have amputated his leg and he would have been done in a few days. We could have sent him home to a foster and they could have pulled out stitches in just, you know, a couple weeks. and would have been done with it. But since we have the means to kind of go above and beyond with these animals now, we were able to do the extensive treatment. He's trying to run through this door. We were able to do the extensive treatment and save this leg, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool that we we're able to do that. So look at this boy. He's smart. Although that's where he gets more surgery. I don't know why he's going this way. Um, but we're able to do that surgery, do those surgeries and do all that treatment and do all that extensive work on him just because of you guys supporting our channel. So it's very cool, um, kind of the difference we're able to do. We can kind of treat these guys um, as more than just homeless pets who are a money sink for our practice. We can treat them just like they're, you know, paying clients and, and, and it's pretty awesome. And I feel, you know, blessed that we're able to do this and nice that he is not an amputee now. He lost a few of his toes and that was it. So anyway, thanks for supporting Vet Ranch. We have a lot of videos in the works right now and a lot of animals we've helped and we just haven't followed them out all the way through their, their, um, their uh, recovery after, after their surgeries and their treatments and everything. So there'll be a lot more content on the channel coming up. I appreciate everyone being here. Stitch appreciates y'all being here. He's a good old boy. And we will see you next time. Somewhere.